Hello friends, welcome to my channel. In the, in the previous video, I have given the solutions of quiz assignment answers of programming in C++. In this video, I will give you the programming solutions for week 1 in this course. So, let's go into the course. Friends, please watch the video until the end without skipping because if I make any changes in between the video, you can able to note those changes. So on that note, let's get into the programming question. First question. And the first question here, we should replace the blanks with required piece of code. So just clear that blanks and I will show the first code of line 1. See here for the question 1 the line of code is this. So I am copying this and going to paste it here and similarly clear these blanks in line 2 and replace this code with the blanks so I'm going to copy and paste it here so friends if you see this for your comfortable I'm zooming this so friends if you look this this is the first line and this is the second line so I hope you got this so I am going to compile and run this so if you look that it is passed the compilation and the public test cases two are present and both of them are passed and expected and actual outputs showing passed so let's submit this program for private test case whether they are passed or not so on that note here the private test case there is only single private test case and it shows the status as passed so friends let's go back to second programming assignment so here they have given three lines of piece of code so as we did in the first programming assignment let's clear the first blank and I will show the code this regarding first question and let's move on to second code so I'm copying from s1 dot length because already they have given if and also brackets so I'm copying it from here So I am going to paste it here and I am going to remove these blanks in line 2 and going to see if you observe the line 2 is written 1 and line 3 is written 0 they are simple and we can type it just here that is sorry it is written one and the third line i'm just clearing this blank and type that written zero so if you look like this i'm going to zoom it for you and i'm going to show this this is the first piece of code 
and th this line is second and this line is third so let's check whether it is correct or not I'm going to come click on compile and run so yes if you see this the compilation has showing in green color that is passed and public test cases are also 2 by 2 passed and expected and actual outputs are also same and status are passed so let's submit to see whether private test case is passed or not so if you look that here the single private test case it is also passed so this programming is correct and let's move on to the final and last question that is third programming question so here there is just two lines of code so as I said before clear this blank space or the blanks and I'm showing you the code this is the code of third question that is first line of third question I'm going to copy this and paste it here as already type def is present here I am clearing that first one so here the semicolons are repeated so I am taking back and I am also clearing the second second lines blank and I am going to paste it the it is fp equal to ampersand add i'm going to paste it here so once again check this i hope it is correct and two semicolons are repeated once i am showing you this by zooming in to the program So if you see this, it is clearly visible. This is the code. So I am unzooming it and clicking on compile and run. Let's see what will happen. So if you see this, the compilation is passed and public test cases are also passed and ex expected and actual outputs are also same and sh status showing passed so let's check private test case whether it is passed or not so the private test case are also passed it is only single test case and it is also passed so friends if you find this video useful Subscribe our channel, like the video and share it to your friends. Keep supporting. Thank you.